What's up, y'all? So, drama alert. Diamond Flawless versus I am Zoe. Quando crying on the school bus. Big dick holler. <laughs> Big dick holler. Child, it's messy Monday. We about to get into this shit. You dig know what I'm saying? These skinny pops bust. I'm trying to tell you don't sleep. Hey, yeah. Hurry up. Hey. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell y'all leave? So, I already read the title. Let's get into it. Thank you, Karma, for sponsoring this video. And if you don't know what Karma is at the bottom, yeah. Tell me about that. Still, I'm gonna act everything. Thank you. What's going on? There's a whole lot of hope. It's a. 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 Okay. I love his shirt. <laughs> we made it through another week and we're back at Monday. Shout out to y'all for not giving up because, honey, it's the holidays, money, stress, okay. New Year. It's just so much going on and you're still here. So give yourself a pat on the back, okay? Anyway. Um, let's keep this moving. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notification bells and you can get notified when I post a video. I would greatly appreciate that. And for my friend of the day, he goes out to Bun. Bun. I don't know what's going on with your description thing. But okay. It's dead inside. Well, honey, it's about to be 2022. Start fresh. Whatever was working your nerve, 2021, whatever was right. Girl, let all that shit go. Because what the fuck? I know that whatever was holding you down, let it go. Let it go, honey. It's not worth it. Don't bring it over in 2022. If it decides to want to creep over, say, hey, I'm about to control you. You're going to follow what I say, okay? Because your little profile picture was black. It just seemed like, you know, you was really going through something. Dark. So I want to send you my love. And I want to say, hey, friend. And I greatly appreciate you for having my post notifications on, for being the first to come in. And showing me unconditional love, and I want to give that back to you, okay? Well, it's time to go and get to y'all's favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girl love staying in some shit. Mm -hmm. First, for sugar honey iced tea, we have Malu and Travis Scott. Now, let's take it back. On October 16th, Malu came to the internet and told us, oh, I'm signed to Travis Scott. Oh, the birthday girl is so happy. Dreams do come true. I'm signed to Cat. It's Jack. And Atlantic Records. I'm so happy. Leave her name. Bitch. We didn't ask you. And first of all, what the hell he signed you for? Anyway, what you gonna do? Bail it wrong? We saw that on Musical.ly and that's only last for a couple of months. Hello? Damn, Zoe. <laughs> So fucking rude. Time goes by on November the 3rd. She comes to the internet again and lets us know, oh, I had a meeting with them. You just about to be crazy and saying that I don't have to prove nothing to nobody. Yada, yada, yada. Woo, woo, woo. We're like, girl, at this point, shut the hell up. Don't nobody want to hear your music, okay? Girl, ain't nobody asking you this. Why you keep coming telling us your business? We don't care. Did somebody come to you? Because last time I checked, we forgot. And then later on, that same day, she reveals that she was not signed to him anymore. She's like, I ain't had a lie about nothing. He sat with me. 
me and told me how much he believed in me and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, okay, girl. Girl, he's scared he ain't gonna be able to pay your ass all these lawsuits. Yeah. You know what? If you're just trying to get his attention and you want to date this man, say that. If this man was selling you dreams and he was probably drunk and then he realized the mistake that he made, just say that. You ain't got to tell us that this man was signing you. This girl, from the looks of it, we ain't never heard no song, don't know no song, ain't trying to get no song, don't want no song. <laughs> and bitch, we're not pre thinking about a song. So what you need to do is just leave us the hell alone about a song. Period. That was November 3rd. Now time passed, and then the Astro World concert happened. Everybody's on his net, lawsuits, angry fans, whoop, whoop, whoop. And then here comes this little help for trying to let me out this contract. I really don't want to expose behind the scenes shit. Let me out. Bitch, ain't nobody got you locked. What? I thought you wasn't signed. I'd be some obsessed people in this world, y'all, for real. Ain't no basement or nothing. Like you just tied up with a sock in your mouth, bitch. No. Hush. You should have read the fine print anyway. If they said you had a little sunset clause or you had to be in there for six months, that's your fault. Remember that last post you said, my team is great. Where your team at now? And why the fuck is you tagging him anyway? Shouldn't you call him? Ain't you sign to him? Can't you talk to him personally? Or do you not have that information because you actually weren't really signed to him? Are you cold telling all these other people? What's Jesus? Like, why are you trying to hold me when you deny everything? Let me go. Like, I mean, like, as peaceful as I can. Like, I really just, like, uh, like the whole team is weird in so many ways. So, and I don't got to lie. I, I thought she wasn't in the contract. I'm confused. And a whole contract. I have a picture of the contract. I just want to get out of it. I still haven't been able to. Girl, you was just freezing. You said that, oh, he lifted me up. He made me feel so good. And we had a conversation. He told me I was this. Well, bitch. Well, I thought she was out of the con. I'm confused. What happened? <laughs> Why you deny everybody? Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, go ahead. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. I'm confused. It's all right. It ain't about me, Trent. Set up free. Next day. Next, the Shagani Ice Tea, we have Quando Rondo. Lord help him. This boy is on an emotional roller coaster and he ain't got on no seatbelt. Well, one day he loves him, next day he don't, next day he mad, next day he cuddling. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Child, at this point, somebody give him a snicker because he acting strange. He took to his Twitter and he said, Lord, I know that I don't want to, but I got a cut, cut, little star, y'all. I don't know what the fuck the double cut means, but I guess that means he's serious. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, what the fuck did you expect? She's in high school. This girl over here worried about her final exam. She ain't got to be fooling with you. She must have didn't ask him to prom. What you think? <laughs> this girl got this man stressed and Wendell, did you not text your dad? All that going to extra mile shit is for the dead. Well. <laughs> Y'all don't get it. Women these days and who they dating and shit just be weird these days, boy. You did that. Let me just say that ain't none of my business. Quando, this is her senior year. Let this girl enjoy it. Now she's still in high school for real, though. And have fun. When she graduates, she'll have time for you. If she ain't worried about going to college, finding a new man. Boy, it's on you. You is really going to throw it. Stuff. Hey, Quando, I don't know what the fuck you doing. Maybe you should go pick up from school. <laughs> Damn. See what got her so occupied. Is she on any extracurricular activities at school? Okay, well, did you talk? Something she is the era, okay? Okay, well, if it ain't about me, girl, say Quando free. Next day. Next, Mr. Honey Ice Tea, we have Amber and Amy. Now, let me tell you something. Her 
stupid ass took him back. He's an idiot. I love you down, but don't come back crying to us when this man do this. Now, I know you are good for staying friends with your baby daddies, and I don't have a problem with that, but for some strange reason, I feel like this is for a friend. I wish I would just stop coming on this internet, dogging who you was going with, talking about him, and exposing everything just to go back to them. But if that's what y'all want to do, y'all do it. I ain't got nothing to do with it, but we gonna talk about it, child. They've been seen together. First it was with the child, now it's just by themselves, and I'm just like, girl, you we go. This man literally just went on a podcast, told them that he fucked around with you with 13 women and that cheating is in his nature. What the fuck make you think he done changed? You made it too easy for him to come back, sis. But if that's the roller coaster you want to ride on, so the fuck be it. Do you? Ladies, I'm gonna need y'all learn how to run from struggling love, humiliating okay. love, okay. disrespectful love, okay. abusive love. Okay. It's okay to co-parent without being in some type of relationship, friendship. Just do it from afar. It's okay, child. I'm just so pissed because she done sat here. I was rooting for you. Rooting for you, Emma, but then you think a trip to the Bible stop this bitch from cheating? Yeah, I said bitch because he look more like you than you look like your damn family. <laughs> <laughs> so he be so fucking mad sometimes. Say, bitch, support. All right, well, <laughs> about me? <clears throat> hey, e, let Amber free. Next day. Next, let's do the iced tea. We have Jamie Lexus and Blue Lex. Not long ago. Huh, let this go, too. Were you just attacking this man? At his home. <laughs> Baby Robert Drama, I'm Chris. Damn, I, I got some good dick. You have community dick. I don't see how y'all girls just be like so happy to just hop on a dick that belong to the community. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. I don't understand it, but all right. Yeah, she ran. And then after that, you're going to end that talking outside of your neck, disrespecting him, woo, woo, woo. coming to find out allegedly he messed around with the girls in the bad girl house and all this other stuff. And now you're pregnant. I did. Yeah. Yeah. It's being pregnant for me. He happy. This is why you just gotta mind your business. Cause these people out here will have y'all looking stupid, taking sides for the next. That's person. a fact. That is a fact. Let's talk about the bullshit and let it go. I may give you my opinion and let it go. You won't be that happy and all joyful to the world about a man that done embarrassed you, kicked you out the house, had you back in the pool, showed it on the internet. Now you have you have any second baby. <laughs> I don't know what to say about some of y'all. I hope it don't happen, but we'll look forward to seeing you going crazy on the internet again. Uh, <laughs> when this baby is born. Uh, all right. If it ain't about me, let's be keeping it. Okay? All right, y'all. That's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, okay, we have Donald Flawless versus <laughs> Ramsey. <laughs> Turning myself in, sorry you guys, 
I have to. I'll slap the taste. I cannot. I guess that day is sit right with Donna, honey. So she went to her Instagram story and she posted this right here saying, somebody get this broke boy. Because when I let him know I see him, it's smoke. Now, I just want to let her know you don't need to be smoking anything. Because for the looks of it, you don't smoke enough crack. Oh, you lost your mind. my God. Now, I forget how your daddy taught us how you was in a psycho ward, honey, for a period of time. Because you couldn't take care of yourself. You didn't count when you were in the hospital. That's why you could not check yourself out. That's the okay. problem with psych issues. Daddy, okay. you're, you have psych issues. Well, regardless, because you're, you're thinking it's funny right now, it won't be funny when they put you back in there a second time. And then she always on live doing it, girl. Stop. Where? I'm just telling where? you, where? back in the hospital. And also, if it's polka dot, somebody who twerk on the bed while they on their period can't say nothing to me. Ooh. Oh, it's like... I remember that. Oh my God, I remember that. Yo, it's so but he petty. Oh my God. I remember that though. I really remember that. She was dead ass bleeding on the bed. I already told y'all doing times I was fucking bleeding and I didn't get a tampon. That's what we got towers, bitch. Boo boo cry. Oh, you ain't never seen blood in your life? Look down in your damn pants. Look, fish teeth. <laughs> to the casserole. <laughs> Fish stick. <laughs> Do the casserole. Oh my god. Box him out. Okay. He ain't you right. You get smashed on the first date and then the man call you out. You ain't got nothing to say to me. Hello. And while we on a conversation about broke, I'm not the one that asked Ian for a hundred dollars. That's what you. And then you got mad he didn't give it to you, so you wouldn't go blast him on the internet. Let's work out your bank account and not mine. Sweetie, isn't your daddy a doctor? Tell some of his friends. Maybe they can help you get out of this rut that you're in. I'm so sorry that you're upset with life right now, sweetheart, but I'm not the one that did it to you. Maybe if you would stop being a fortified, let all these men release themselves in you, sweetheart, you wouldn't be so hurt. All the Damn! Girl, he didn't leave her nothing! Demons is fighting you right now. You don't know what to do about it. Remember you said it was hell on earth. You was outside of Sid's house and you got that water poured on you by his girlfriend, Bree. Oh, heaven on earth. What's up? Guess where we are. Tell Hell. Oh, Welcome to the house. Oh, oh yeah. That's it. Get out. That's it. Welcome to the house. That's not my problem. But Dang. I see you've been through a whole lot, a whole lot of, so you want to take it out on people. Girl, no. Just go rest. Get in the white padded room and ask God to help you. Anyway, that's not my business. All right. Well. He read her for the gods, baby. Let's pray this pass around finds love peace. Anyway, it was about me. But on Diamond, we kiki. Next game. Next look, I guess we have Tory Lanez versus Big Scott. Yeah, I gotta pee. Sick of it. I gotta fucking pee. Two seconds. Two. Two, 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 two seconds. Where the hell is my be right back screen? Oh, here we go. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Shit. Bitch, we having a pee. I be drinking all now, this water. I'm with y'all. We don't give a fuck about none of this bullshit. We don't care. All we want to know is who the fuck shot me. All this other stuff. Okay. We don't care about none of that. We just want to know who killed me. Who lied. Who that did fuck. I guess since COVID is letting up, they getting closer to the trial. One of the LAPD people testified and said that Tory Lanez was intoxicated, allegedly, whatever the case may be. 
can't hit that dance, bitch. <laughs> hit that dance, bitch, before firing the gun. Then shoot quickly. <laughs> He shot her. Now, baby, that's crazy. I don't see him saying that, but me I don't hold nothing past anybody now. Yeah, me either. I've seen enough. We all seen enough. When we thought we saw what we would never see, we see the next thing. Okay. Anyway, I'm over here thinking, like, how did you know this? Y'all weren't there. Y'all got there after that. So, y'all are going off what she said to me. Really, at that time, I believe all of them were just drunk. And they just going off of just what they felt happened. I don't know. Anyway, so then after that hit the internet, Tori's defense lawyer came out and said that, okay, well, baby, let me tell y'all something. While they were in the car having a heated argument, Tori, Megan, and her friend, whatever the case may be, woo, woo, woo. Things escalated, and mind you, Tori and Megan were supposedly in this relationship, and they're saying that Megan's friend, Kelsey, I think that's her name, allegedly was upset with Megan because she felt like Megan backdoored her to Tori because she wanted Tori. Now, I told you, I felt like this is what this is all about. Mm -hmm. So this lawyer was saying that Tori's claim that he was protecting his girl because I'm guessing that Kelsey and Megan was arguing because my they don't feel out. They ain't talking no more. The girl said she ain't talking anyway into all this stuff. It's over because she ain't got nothing to protect because she ain't no celebrity. But I'm like, but she shouldn't she be on the witness stand, y'all? Shouldn't she? Now we need to know what the fuck going on. I think that girl Kelsey and Tori fucked around. Megan found out, got mad, it was all drawn. They got into so argument. Whoop whoop whoop, pop pop pop. Mm -hmm. And then, girl, it is what it is, bitch. That's not. That's what I believe. I don't know. So, so but who did it? Tory comes up and he said, nah, I need someone to report what was really said in court. 45 minutes of my lawyer said in evidence that proves my innocence. And I'm just like, okay, at this point, we tired of it. It's always a circle with everybody. It's a circle, a circle, a circle, a circle. We just want to get to the end. Child Moore come out and say, witnesses say that they saw Megan fighting with her friend Kelsey moments before the shot. Mind you, girl, because she the one who did it. Lawyer says that Tori claimed that he was trying to protect his girl from what was going on. So then it comes out and she says, you know what? Some of these headlines are just crazy. Trying to make it was a cat fight between two friends. I was unformed and got shot. Period. Why do I have to keep doing this? And I understand. If all this really happened and he shot her, a girl shot her, it's Waldo at this point. Wait okay. Again, whoever shot her. It's sad if it really happened. But then they come back and say the bullet fragment that was allegedly removed from Megan's foot cannot be located. So now it's like y'all had him. If you don't have him, she was shot. What? Thought the whole case away. We I don't think nobody even cared no more. Oh, God, I don't. Know. I, don't. I am so over it. Doing her hands. Megan had a bullet pulled out of her foot. Now it's just no fragments found. I think everybody was drunk. Nobody truly remembers what happened. They just trying to figure out. They trying to figure out what happened. So they just piecing what they think happened. I, I just was the defense drunk. <laughs> Was the doctors who had the fragments and shit drunk? Why y'all ain't got the fragments? Where is uh the fragments? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not understanding that part. I maybe it really was glass at the time. And because it was just such a big thing, you know, let me just mind my business, honey. I ain't even gonna talk about it. Well, we still waiting. Did Tori shoot her? Did the friend shoot her? Did Megan get shot? Who shot Megan? <laughs> I guess we won't know until the next episode. Who shot Megan, bro? Until the end, if it ain't about me, let's keep it. Okay! Next one, Doc. Hey, we got to keep going. And I think it's pronounced Money Off. Ain't that Priscilla Renee? Anyway, Keisha Cole had went to the internet after Money Long had made a tweet saying, It's crazy how haters pop out once you get a little bit of shine. Damn, it's only been three weeks since the song been out. And then Keisha Cole retweeted <clears throat> with a quote and said, It's crazy how lame you are, but I'ma let it go like the song say. You got my messages, Money, Mooney, whoever, for them songs, because she said she paid for them. But then you gave them away. Don't play with me for real. So then she says, girl, you got my messages and then you screenshot them and send them to other people. So I guess the girl's talking behind the scenes. Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. So child, I'm like, oh, boy, because you know, Priscilla, she is a good song. I think I'll be writing some songs. Hmm. So child, 
Everybody trying to figure out what's going on, why they arguing, what's going on, she get away, who she give it away to. I'm just like, baby, don't fuck with Keisha. She is not the one to be played with. Tread with her life, then. Because mama done went through a whole lot, a whole lot of this shit, and she will probably fuck somebody up. But then somebody else said, child, that's the motherfucking lie, because OG was dragging her all over the internet just for her to turn around and bring him out on the verses. And I'm like, well, you got a point, girl. So anyway, I'm like, is she just barking and not going to fight, or is she going to go attack this girl and let her see what she's all about? People were trying to figure out, well, who they get the son to? What's the song about? The song, I think Priscilla kept, which I know Priscilla, she sings, and she's also a writer. And honey, the song is called Hours and Hours, and the shit is a lot. And it's slowly blowing her up, and I guess when Keisha like, well, bitch, that's supposed to have been my song, and you gave it away. But anyway, child. As far as Keisha goes, we go way back. I love Keisha. Like, I've known her for years. This is recently, like, it's new for us to be, like, you know, communicating on this level and, like, talking like this. Like, I was just talking to her the other day. We was keying. We was having a key. You know, she did not pay <laughs> me. So let's get that clear. I did not get paid. Girl, if you didn't get paid, them songs is gone. What are you talking about? <laughs> not one penny. And even when the song comes out, let me just tell you this. Even when the song comes out, because of streaming, the way that streaming is set up, it's going to take you 10 million streams to even touch $8,000. Eight racks. 10 million streams. What artist is doing that outside of like Ariana Grande, Doja, Nikki, all people who write their own stuff and they have like um, they own like staff of writers, you know? So anyway, you might you might see eight bands off of that. And then you have to split it with everybody who was participating on the record. So you might make four hundred dollars, then you gotta pay commissions, taxes, seventy dollars. The song that she's talking about What? Which I'm not going to say the name of or who I gave it to out of respect for that person. Um, the song that she's talking about is not the one y'all thinking. Um, That's so crazy. A different song. <laughs> but I do appreciate the streams though. Thank you. I went into work with Keisha because I love Keisha. I don't have to excuse nothing. Cause I know copyright law. I wrote the song, okay? We wrote it together. So we all control it. You pay for studio time, you don't own the song. Especially after Keisha says she retired. And again- Wait, that, they wrote it together? Oh, fuck. With disrespect, I love Keisha. She says she was gonna retire. So how are we supposed to know? How are we supposed to know what that really means? She didn't hit up none of us and tell us, um, you know, hey, I, I know I'm here, retiring, but it's looking you know, like a ghost for me. Song. She said she was scrapping a project, and it's no disrespect. Like, no tea, no shade. I love Keisha, man. Like, I don't play like that. If it's if the song is for an artist, then it's for an artist. Long story short, I just you know I saw her texting me, and I was working. I was in the studio. I'm very respectful of other people's time when I'm in front of them in the studio. <laughs> I don't get on the phone, that's disrespectful. So I decided, all right, I'm, I'm gonna call her when I get to Atlanta in the morning. I'm gonna call her. I get on the plane, honey, and I see all this. Yo, like people just play in your face. People just literally play with you, bro. <laughs> like, and then it'd be like, they just throw the rock and go run and hide behind everybody that they be calling and sharing these text messages with that I'm literally talking to you like you know what i'm saying like so this industry is just i just wanted to share that like you know what i'm saying like this industry is so crazy like they they will they like it's just it's just i'm really excited about this new year let's just start there okay because all the negativity <laughs> negativity <right>? negativity <laughs> You know, it's just like, it's cool. You know, everything is cool. Everything is gravy. Everything is butter, baby. You know, they act like they didn't know. And then they act like, oh, but I love Keisha. I just love her so much. Uh, I just love she's doing no wrong. And it's like, girl, boy. Boy. You know what I mean? So, I'm really for real. I'm not trying to be funny or nothing. But it really is. It's, it's really in, um... And basic that that is a part of the game that I just learned being in a room with a lot of different people or a couple different people or whatever 
um, them going and you going in a room with them and you telling them your story, you telling them what you went through, and then they take a song that you created as an artist and as an artist that's already established, that hit a little different for me. What I'm getting from all this is yep. she did. Cause I don't get it. She get a song away. She did ignore the text messages, and she waited to address it, knowing everything Keisha going through. So girl, that's three strikes you are wrong. Y'all better stop playing with these people's money. People ain't playing with their money these times right about now, especially when she going through what she going through. But that's I think it's funny, child. Y'all can call each other about making a song, but y'all can call each other about this issue. Priscilla, you wrong, girl. You should have picked that phone call up. Now that it done hit the scene, you want to act like you just holding it down and you ain't got to do it and you sorry and you love her and this and that. In conclusion, if the sessions were paid for by Keisha, and yes, she all both wrote them together, but she paid for the session and then you used my... If we wrote that song together, bitch, nah. You going to have to run me a fade. <laughs> I'm going to be mad too. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. You need to apologize, Miss Moody Honey. Whatever Moody Money, Priscilla, whoever you're going by now, you need to apologize. But anyway, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next on the docket, we have Big Nick Hollow. I mean, hit. <laughs> yeah. Child, so it it's the beef. A while back, honey, and he posted to his third friends that were on there, you know, him and what him and his girlfriend said to do. Now, he thought that, you know, because him and Cinnamon talk about, you know, what they want to post and it is okay because he did speak to her. Um, he thought it would be between, you know, his close friends, but child, it ended up getting leaked and baby, the internet went crazy. Folks was out there tweaking, talking about some, oh my God, hit me a holler, child. They I ain't never seen no team. But see, while y'all out here worried about the team, I was looking at Cinnamon like, damn, Cinnamon out here clapping back. She got a grip on that. Okay. Y'all talking about how that dick look good. Yeah, it was girthy. It was nice. Had a little link to it. But mama made it sick without her. He wouldn't have did nothing. Y'all better get that girl a prop. Okay. <laughs> and baby, that nigga. <laughs> you know how if a, a, a bottle of lotion is in a car and it's hot outside. And you pop the top on that lotion, and that shit just start oozing out, child. He was coming like the lotion. I was like, God damn. He didn't do that by himself, okay? This thing was over there looking like a Venus spot trap. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want to see him give him all the props. This is a piece of meat. Fuck that meat. So anyway, he come out and he says, I would never disrespect Simeon. Woo, 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 woo. We talk about this. That's my girl. He made that long statement, honey. And child, it is what it is. I mean, they're known to do this. People know that. Like, if you follow <laughs> him, man, you would know this. And child, this team was leaked long time ago. Now, that's what I'm saying to me. What? At this point, it's just very much giving me Ray J and Kim. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, man, I wake you. This, that team do got his own social security number. That's all human being, man. They can get that motherfucker driver's license. <laughs> His teeth might have been little, but that dick so big. <laughs> but whoever was on his close friends, you was fucked up that. That's how you know everybody ain't your friend. I don't know if it might have been a girl he was fucking and she got jealous when she saw Cinnamon doing the things that she couldn't do and she decided that she wanted to uh, put it out there. But it is what it is. But if you ask me, I feel like they did it themselves. All right. Well, then about me, Cinnamon. I get a little piece of that me. They make some great money. After this, they might as well start OnlyFans. I mean, you ain't got nothing to hide no more. Shit. All right. That's all we got for Miss Monday. Um, like I always say, send a mess to my Instagram. Bitch, who didn't know we was done? I'm over here <laughs> smashing. Y'all know I'm on keto. <clears throat> so I haven't eaten like that today. So the bitch is just smashing. <clears throat> Ooh, child. Anyway. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.